Good afternoon. It's day 27 of the Junk Journal January Challenge hosted by Meg Journals and Get Messy Art. And I think I have been forgetting to mention that and I apologize. Um, today is Earth Tones and I have a variety of Earth Toned papers here that I am going to make a patchwork sort of um, background out of here and then I thought I would use this coffee dyed paper to just stamp a tree on and that would be my focal point with a little uh, blurb about trees or forests or something like that. I have a, a book that I made a long time ago, a journal that was all about the forest and trees so I can get a quote from that and um, I think that's going to be it. So let's get started with trying to cover up this page here. Uh, I think we'll do this. I'm probably going to end up having to cut some off. I really like this paper, but it's very, it's like cardstock. So it's going to make my book thick, and it's also getting very difficult to work in this <laughs> book. So we're going to have to be done soon, aren't we? So I'm going to go like this, and we can have that there, and maybe this here. And this is really pretty, too. Um, maybe I'll have a hunk of that up there, like this. And I also have this. Let me get some stuff glued down before we go any farther. I need to get my glue stick again. And, uh, yeah, we had some major snow, and I'll, I'll put in a little, um, clip of our snowstorm. <laughs> well, it's not storming now, but what our snowstorm left us last night. We can, you can see what snow is like up here. I wanted to show you guys what has happened during the night. Looks like we got about a foot of snow. And over there, you probably can't see it, but there's the mountains I was talking about right there. And they're over that way two. Um, yeah, so I have a little uh, wildlife um, conservation area over there. Nobody's allowed to mess with that over there, so that's really nice. We have a lot of nice birds and animals. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what happened. This is actually pretty good that this is our first snow of the year in mid late January used to be 35 years ago when we first moved up here we it would be like this from October to April <laughs> yeah it was crazy but now it's nothing like that anymore hardly get any snow really compared to that so this is gonna go oh, gotta get on the right page right here I'm not going to put another tag in this I'm gonna cover it up like it's not even got a tag there, or not even got a pocket there. That's going to go there. Um, this is going to go like this. So we don't want to get glue on that, but let's get this glued up. Gluing out here. So what kind of weather are you having? Are you in upstate New York or on the East Coast? Did you get snow? Um, I'm actually filming this on the 23rd, so we had the snow on the 22nd. It's It was still snowing this morning, though. And I can put this right here. And uh, I have this really pretty... Um, Earth toned. I could cover that pink stuff up. I should have done that. Um, I cut that page out because I didn't really like it anymore. <laughs> it was too much, and I had too many pages too. I don't like to leave a book unfinished with empty pages, and I I knew I would with this one if I didn't. 
um, you know, take a page or two out. But I've also got this, which I thought, I actually don't need to cover this, I don't think, because my focal point is going to go there. But I thought maybe I would use it as a background for the focal point. So let's get this um, stamped. And let's use, I don't want to use plum again. Let's see, sepia. Let's use sepia. And I do need to do a test of this. It doesn't always come out too great. Well, let's see how that's going to work. And keep that down with some pressure for a while. I've always wanted to get one of those... Um, Oh, that came out nice. I've always been wanting to get a uh, stamping platform for the, the other kinds of stamps. But I just can't justify spending the money on it. I don't use stamps that much. to make. I mean, if I was needing it because I've, of projects that I use to make money on, maybe I'd get one. <laughs> I can't justify it. So let's get this on the coffee dyed paper, and oh, you know what? It doesn't show up on the coffee dyed paper enough. Hmm, the coffee dye is in the way. Maybe up here it would look better. Let's find out. I might just have to get a planer piece. Okay. Make sure I have pressure in every area. And now let's take it off. Oh yeah, that looks much better. That looks much better. I will cut that down. And then I will see how I like it on the back of this. And uh, I wonder if I could, uh, if I type right on that, I might mess up the tree. <laughs> if I mess up the typing. <laughs> So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play it safe this time. All right, I need to find a quote. Yeah, so this is the book that I was talking to you about earlier. This was inspired by Barbara of 49 Dragonflies. She did something similar to this a, oh, quite a while ago, probably a couple of years ago. I think I might have some leaves that I can also glue on here. And I have some quotes. Let's take our hearts for a walk in the woods and listen to the magic whispers of old trees. And into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Observe the beauty of the forest. Falling leaves. Hmm. This is cute. I just put tree on there. Maybe I'll do that. That's simple enough. Most of these are about the forest. So... I don't know. I thought I had more in there about just trees. He who plants a tree plants hope. That's a good one. And also, time spent among trees is never wasted. Hmm. There's another one of my landscapes. <laughs> my cone trees. All right. Um, I think I'll put he who plants a tree plants hope. Because this is earth tones. And we're talking about the earth and preserving the earth. In my mind, I think of ecology, keeping the earth clean, when I hear of earth tones. So I think I'll just put that. He who plants a tree, um, whatever it said now, plants hope. So let me uh, get that typed up too. Okay, so when I was thinking about putting it on the background of this, you can't really see that it's going to be moths under there. So I thought I would just put a little piece of this up here and then I might just back the quote up with this earth toned paper. So in that way I can still have these pretty um, moths here and I'm going to put a little piece of something here because or well actually though with the background it might not show up but you see there's that little plaid poking through so Let's go ahead and glue this on and then put the backer on the uh, 
quote and see if I need to cover that up with something. Here is the quote focal point on its background. I inked it up. I round the edges of the background and you can still see this so I think I'm going to just put a strip of something right here to cover up the pink and that and then that will be done we'll be done with that one um, I'll put a little 27 up here and um, hmm, I don't I don't know if I'll write I, what I'm going to write, I might just hand write the prompt, but I don't like mixing handwriting with that either, so I don't know. Let's see. What can I put down that side to cover that up? Some more that won't really show up. I think I'm going to get more of the newsprint or the craft paper on there. All right, so I got some more of this packaging paper that I had saved. And like I was saying before, when I think of earth tones, I think of like being ecologically responsible. And planting a tree is ecologically responsible. And it's helpful to the earth, it's helpful to people, and it makes people happy. Trees make me happy anyway. So that, I believe, is the end of that other than typing out the number 27 and earth tones. Okay guys, the spread's all done. Tay 27 earth tones and I did find a leaf. This was from my one of my blueberry bushes and I added that um, to the spread and after I take a picture I'm going to just put some tape over it to keep it safe. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it all you all so much and I hope you'll stick around even after uh, Junk Journal January is over because I do intend to keep filming some of the things that I create. And I would look forward to seeing you there too and appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching and see you for day number 28, which is Antique. Oh boy. I always get scared, but then I always end up coming up with something. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye.